From the air, Cameron looks rather the same. Many of the buildings are still standing, and the concrete bunkers tell a silent story of the war that was. Now the once super installation of Cameron is being eaten away by the elements. On the ground, it's plain that American withdrawal has turned Cameron into a ghost town. Its remains scorch under a merciless sun, the skeleton bearing little resemblance to the bursting Cameron of the 60s. Then, this was one of the busiest areas in the world. More than two million GIs would have been processed in and out of here by the time it was all over. The base was a symbol of American commitment in Vietnam. President Lyndon Johnson paid two visits to this quarter of a billion dollar installation, and each time his message was the same. Because of what you men are doing here today, you may very well prevent a wider war, a greater war, a World War III. As Americans began withdrawing from Vietnam, Cameron became an anachronism. The U.S. military salvaged most of its investment and gave the rest over to the Vietnamese. But Cameron was an American, not a Vietnamese dream, so it's plainly destined for oblivion. No one is sure just what will happen to whatever is left here. Neither Vietnamese side is rushing to claim it. So it appears that in a few years, this extraordinary testament to American military might will be reclaimed by nature.